Hello, hello, and welcome to Sung is Be Honest channels. When I tell you tonight, we're going to get down on the get down. It's all about a fish fry tonight. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of talking, so don't expect for, for me to be talking. I'm ready to eat. Do you understand? Went by Food Depot the other day and picked this up. Haven't had any ocean perch in a long time. It was $10, so I'm going to make it worth it. It's going to be worth my $10. We're going to eat that with some baked beans. Got this bush. Ain't nothing like a can of bush baked beans. If you never tried it, go, go pick you up some. I'm not going to do the homemade, homemade coleslaw. But I did go by Sam's to pick this up. So we're going to do this bag. Quick, simple, easy to the point. May do some fries to go with it. But sit back and relax, y'all. Just look at this wonderful meal I'm about to throw down on, okay? And if, if you want me to, I'll go ahead and send you a plate. I'll send you a plate. But, um, let me go and get into it because they over there waiting. Now I got stuff over here. I got to clean up, straighten up, this, that, the other. But first, we're going to get down on the throw down. Let's get started. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's been cooking almost 15 minutes. I bumped it up. The first five, five to seven minutes, you want to cook it on medium because you don't want to cook it too soon or cook it too fast. And then I bumped it up to a medium high for the last seven, eight minutes. And this is how your fish gonna look. Look at that. You can't see it, but this is this is a pretty thing right here. Now, the key to having good fried food, and I've told y'all this time and time again, you've got to get your cookie cooling rack. That's gonna allow any excessive grease to drain from your fried food. And that's what we're gonna place that over there. And I'm gonna show it to you in a second. So let me get this out, because I don't want my grease to burn, because I have more fish to fry. Look at that golden brown. Look at that. The crunch is going to be real. Believe that. Okay, now I got to turn this down because I don't want my grease to burn before I add my other pieces of fish. But let me let you take a look right quick because I'm trying to multitask. So there's my cookie cooling rack. As you can see, I just put some paper towel on it for presentation. But this is going to allow your fish to air dry evenly and remove all of that excessive oil within your fried food. I do this for anything that I fry. I use my cookie cooling rack. That would make a tremendous difference in your diet, especially if you're not supposed to have fried foods. Presentation is everything and the taste is so divine. Look at that southern fried fish. Can I have one of your fries? Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I hope you've enjoyed the time we've shared together, and I hope this inspired you to get in the kitchen and cook your favorite fish to share with others. Until next time, be blessed.